Hey there, hi there, ho there. It's me, Bear, Forever DM. Late, because has there ever been an RPG session in the history of RPGs that started on time? I think not. Joining me today for the exciting conclusion of Enter Hydra, we have, of course, Dale, who you saw before last time, Shane, who you saw last time, Tim, who you saw last time, and two new jokers joining us, which is Doug and Renzo, and they will introduce themselves. We'll start with Doug, and then we'll go to Renzo. Doug. Okay, yeah, I'm uh, I'm Doug, and uh, I'll be playing Paragon, who I described as a dollar store Superman ripoff. Dollar store Superman. There you go. Actually, it's a buck and a quarter Superman, but I ain't telling him that. All right, Renzo, Taxes. go. <laughs> um, I'm Renzo. I'm gonna be playing Invictus. Uh, he's uh, his own version of a uh, Paragon, uh, but more of a Boy Scout, and uh, always tries to be. Um, doing the right thing. So if we slap the two We're gonna together, get five. We'll, we'll get a full <laughs> Superman out of them if we slap exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, I've, learned, I've learned people like you for why City of Heroes went with classes. Because <laughs> I had a problem with everybody wanting to make Superman. and that, You're the kind of people that it's all your fault. Wow. <laughs> all your fault. A little City of Hero hate there. Yeah. No, no, I, I like City of Heroes quite a bit. No, I meant... Oh yeah, yeah. So, I, I I am not a big fan of the post beta changes or the changes they made about uh, a couple days into the the actual release. Did so. did this suddenly become a City of Heroes podcast? While I wasn't sorry. looking. No, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought we were here to play Marvel Multiverse RPG. I didn't yeah, hear we were here to you. air our gripes about a game released in two thousand two. Um, um, a little later. Hmm. Uh, so for those of you watching, we're going to be basically playing the second part of Enter Hydra. When we left last time, the heroes had almost taken out all the Hydra, revealed that the scientists were actually part of Hydra, and then there was a big crash, bing, bang, boom, and the Hydra Force arrived, consisting of Wolf Spider, Claws, Tactical Force, Hammer, Bowman, and Militant. Also, as a caveat for those watching... Um, this is a mechanics test play test. This is not a deep character role playing play test. We're not running this like a usual role playing game. We're doing this to play the actual game itself to show how it works and test it out and see what we like about it and all that good stuff. So please adjust your expectations accordingly. Thanks. All right. With that said, we're going to pick up from where we left off. And if we take a look, at the map, we can see that uh, our friend Valkyrie was engaging a little squad of uh, hydrons over here. The Hydra Force had arrived into the lab by crashing through the roof. Uh, Nighthawk and Tensio were over here doing their thing. And then over here, hmm, Silver Lion just moved. How fascinating that he wasn't there a moment ago and now he's in the room. I moved at the end of last session. I moved into that room. Uh, Drew, I... Drew, I don't see the map on my thing. Maybe it's blocked on roll twenty. Uh, what? I saw we're it. not we're no, not there yet. You're so not off. there yet. Cool. So, okay. Dynamic lighting. Yeah. So if you don't want me there, I'll move back. No, it's okay. And in an office where they just uh, tried to throw a hydra tanker through the wall, we have uh, Tundra and Silver Lion, and someone's watching Star Trek because I just heard the bridge call. So it's my uh, notification tone on my phone. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Big, giant Star Trek nerd. Isn't that where we met? Didn't we meet on the Trek forums back in the we day? We did. All the way back in the innocent year 2000. All right. 21 years later, now we're playing this. Isn't that fun? That's fun. All right. <laughs> time flies so, when you don't know what you're doing. Time flies when you... Yeah, I was going to say something really shitty, but I'm going to be nice. I had a long day. I'm tired. Uh, everybody I spoke to in my job today, for the most part, were just assholes so i'm just like oh i might beat you up a little harder with hydra i haven't decided yet we'll <laughs> see how it plays out you know it's not like we're at a table and you can bribe me with doritos <laughs> not that i'm bribable but you know people still try okay so we'll start with the initiative which we see the tracker up here in my screen you guys should have it open on your screen so you can see it uh, I've minimized it like this is the entire list of everybody, but just to make it take a little less space on the screen, it's going to stay there so we can actually just sort of cycle through it as need be. So the first person up on initiative with 22.7 is Mr. Wolf Spider here. 
Now, Wolf Spider is basically a Hydra duplicate of Spider-Man. Uh, and he's sort of seeing the lay of the land, and his first action is going to be to jump, I think, will be what he does, and he has a jump of six spaces. So, oops, I'm on the wrong screen. See, this is when you have two screens open, one where I've got the game for you to watch, and then my DM screen over here where I've got it open in Firefox. So he's going to jump over here, land beside Valkyrie, and he's going to take a spidey swing at her with his uh, might. So that's going to give him uh, his combat finesse. He can use his agility instead. So he's going to go versus her defense, which is 23. So he's going to go versus 23. And let's see how he does. Some dice. And he gets a success. 23 versus 23. It's a straight up hit for him. So he's going to do his fight damage against her. And he does 29 points of damage on Valkyrie. But Valkyrie, I believe, has some protection. Let me look at her powers. Clobber, Smash, Mighty, Mighty, Thunder, Lightning Strike, Vicious Slash, Slashback, Flight, and Ram. She has no defense, so he boots her in the face for 29 points of damage. So that's going to hurt. Oh, come on. Bloody roll 20. These 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 live shows will never ever be an endorsement for Roll Twenty. I can promise you that because I swear at it way too much. All right, so that's going to be his action. He's saving a reaction in case he needs it. Next person up is going to be Tactical Force, which is their Iron Man clone. Uh, he can only see what's going on around him, so he's going to fly to here. He's going to do a lock on on you, Tensio, and then he's going to laser blast you with his laser blast. Laser. What's your uh, defense, please? Thirty-one. Yes. Yes. He gets a fantastic failure. So not only does he miss you. Remember that lady who tased you in the last uh, session the, when she revealed she was Hydra. Little part of me goes. Well, he, no, you don't do anything. It's his failure, not your success. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, basically, the blast goes just by you, missing your head and hitting her, taking her out of the fight completely and putting her down on, uh, well, I guess Sleepy Street is where we'll put her. Oops, wrong place. <coughs> Let's undo that. Nope, that was wrong. Okay, thank you, Roll20, for being very difficult. <coughs> uh, give me a second. Who's coughing like a madman into the... Oh, that's uh, me. Oh my god, dude, are you okay? Almost. Okay, man, I worry. I worry. Okay, so that's him. And then next is Militant, who, um, even though he's a Captain America clone, I've come to the consideration that he does not think he's Captain America. So he's just going to do a quick three-step shuffle to there, and he's going to sling attack on Nighthawk. Now, Nighthawk has an orange thing, and I'm trying to remember what that was. Was that stunned he was blinded. or death? He was blinded. blinded. So that gives him trouble, I think, on all of his uh, defenses, right? Let's go find out. Blinded. Until his next turn. Any power the character maintains the strands required line of sight and immediately the character speed is reduced by half. They have trouble on all actions requires line of sight. Enemies have edge on all action checks against them that would require line of sight to defend against. So I'll give him edge on this. So, Mr. Nighthawk has a defense of 24, and Mr. Militant is going to attack that with his uh, shield sling. So, versus 24, submit. Let's go back to the chat and see the results. It's a failure. The shield misses him. Bing, 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 but it automatically returns. Life is good. Hey, Silver Lion. Yes. You're up, You're up buddy. It's your action. You guys I'm, are stuck in a room. I, uh, Tundra, if you aim at the weak spot right there in the wall, you can slam his head right through it. I'm giving him inspiration so he has edge. You're giving him inspiration so he has edge, and therefore, is that an action for you to do that, or is that an easy action? It's a inspiration. I think it's an easy action. Let me double Well, yeah, look at your... Look and check. Let's be sure. Besides, Doug's here, and he's read the rules, unlike the rest of us, clearly. Uh, I haven't <laughs> read. I'm just good at reference. <laughs> uh, uh, funny guy, what a funny guy. Shoot, I have to turn the pages. Help. So you're using inspiration. Is that the power? Inspiration? Uh, yeah, it's easy action. Yep. 
An easy action. Last one round. So you're going to hold your other actions. actions. Yep, so you're going to hold yep. your other actions. I'm have my other action, yes. All right, we move on to Nighthawk, who's blinded. But wait, it's his he, he's now unblinded, or is it the end of his Yes. That's yes. oh, the start, right? Yes. So he's no longer blinded. He sees what's going on, and he's like, all right, dog, let's get it on. And he does a little parkour, 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 parkour. <laughs> and he's going to adudo chop, chop, militant. So militant has a defense of 22. So Nighthawk is going to go after his 22 with the judo chop chop. And the doggy dog dog. And he succeeds by two. Ooh. Hmm. That's not a lot, but it's enough to hit. So we'll give it to him. And he does 29 points of damage, but Militant has a shield, which gives him, I think... Oh, I think he has... Let's take a look. I believe... Oh, I didn't put his powers on this one. Er, well, that's why I keep PDFs, because that's what they're there for. So shield just go, what? Yeah, I think he has shield two. I, he might have I think shield that's two. 20. I got to double check. Hang on just a second. He has shield three, 30 points of reduction. So wow. none of Mr. Man's damage goes through as he puts his shield up and takes the flying sidekick parkour. Amazing, awesome, cool. What a panel. Uh, that is an easy action for him just to... To uh, put the shield up? Yeah. Yeah, no worries. All right, Bowman is next. He basically is going to step here to get himself some line of sight on Nighthawk, and he's going to shoot, shoot, shoot. Nighthawk has a 24 defense, as I said earlier. So Bowman is going to shoot, shoot, shoot versus 24. And Captain Kirk to the bridge. And he gets a success, which means he does his ranged damage. Which is 51 points of ranged damage. Wow, wow, wow wee wow. wow. So, bam, he puts an arrow right through the side of Nighthawk, who uh, takes the arrow all Batman style. All right. And Tensio, you're up. Um, well, well, I'm not going to think that all of these guys are that important. So, I'm going to act like I'm going to punch this tactical force guy. And instead, try to punch Bowman. So that's a reverse punch. Okay. What are the rules on your reverse punch, please? It's an edge. Ah, very nice. Well, Mr. Bowman's defense is 27. I know. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, would you like to spend your edge? Yes. I will reroll a Oh. Which one? The the Marvel die or the non-Marvel die? Uh, that's the part that I don't quite understand. Is it better for me to do one versus the other? If you get a one, if you get a Marvel on the Marvel die, it's worth six. Unless the other two are also ones. Well, so I'm gonna Marvel need... dies a Marvel is always a six unless the other dice are ones. And they if they're sixes, then it's the six one six super fantastico. Well, I'm gonna need four more points somehow, and I don't see how I can get that with a six. Well, you can spend karma and re-roll two of those and hope for sixes on both of them. Or you can take the miss like a big boy. I can take a miss. I missed. All right. So you miss, and you have a reaction available to you and a move. Do you wish to use either of those? Um, I don't need to move, and I will hold on to my reaction. Okay. The uh, hammer... It's hammer time. He basically takes one look at Valkyrie and is like, ah, oh, yeah. And he basically <laughs> flies over to here and he's going to try and whack her with his hammer. Her defense is 23. It's hammer time before any of you make the joke because yeah. why not? Okay. And he hits her. Ooh, he almost got him well it doesn't count if it's all sixes never mind i was gonna say he almost did an amazing thing but he didn't and he hits her for 55 points of damage Woohoo, baby that takes her out of the fight mm. 
She is out. Valkyrie is down. I repeat, Valkyrie is down. Boom. I don't see Tundra on the initiative. Uh, that's because you didn't roll your initiative, or we had that problem last time where you were We had that problem. problem. So go ahead, try rolling your initiative now and see what happens. If you click your token, we'll try again. And if it doesn't, I'll add it by hand. Okay. Doesn't add you for some reason. That is so... Oh, there you are. There you are. Tundra, 14.2. You're at the top. I see you on the initiative tracker. You don't see you on the initiative tracker, but I see you on the initiative tracker. And on your one in your roll 20 instance, you don't see yourself either, right? But I rolled an 18. Yeah, but you had a 14 point something. From oh, the last one. I, I see. see. Yeah, yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, I see you. I can literally see you. I don't know why you can't see yourself on there, but That's you're right after Hammer. Well, guess what? It's your turn. Okay. I, I don't see him either, but okay, I see yeah. everybody else. Roll 20 sucks. What do you want me to say? It's not my fault. It's not <laughs> my fault. I'm going to use my move to go through that wall. All right. Well, I'm not even going to make you do anything other than just a straight up uh, might roll like trivial. So that's like minus seven off whatever you're thinking. Like versus seven, man. Go ahead. Like you just versus go to seven. Smash. Yeah. Come on, man. Like it's nothing. It's an office wall, bro. Yeah, boom. So congratulations. You're now in that room. All right. And then can I continue my move or am I? Yep, right you can continue your move. Yeah. All right. I'll go there. But I'm taking my Hydra Club with me. <laughs> um, your Hydra Club? Yes. There you mm -hmm. go. As mm -hmm. an easy action. Oh, my goodness. You're taking that with you. Um, as an easy action, Tenzio is going to direct Tundra. Go attack those guys in power armor and such. I got these. Oh, well, then I'm going to attack those guys in power armor. I'm going to attack. Well, you want me to go all the way over there first? I, my character doesn't know how far you can move. He just said, go get them versus oh. these little guys. Well, let me swing through these little guys as I go. Okay. Okay. So what are you doing? So I'll swing for those. 16. The uh, the Hydra guy has a 16 defense. Well, I'm going to try to attack both of those since I have a big club. Mm, I'll I allow it. I can hit up the four. I'll allow it. All right. And then I've got a plus two because he's a big club. And what was their defense? 16 still, you big club. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. <laughs> so I'll just make your life easier by showing you what happens when you swing a big club into little squishy guys with five hit points. They're down, son. They're down. All right. Moving on. Uh, the Hydra agents are up now. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. Like, they're kind of overwhelmed right now. Uh, you scare the living crap out of them. You're right in front of this guy. So this guy is going to give this guy edge to shoot you. What's your defense, please, Mr. Tundra? It's a 20. He's more than likely going to miss, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, he got a 19. He's going to spend that edge and re-roll that 4 slash R. A one by six. And he still misses you because he didn't get anything higher. So <laughs> bullets miss. This Hydra agent right in front of you, uh, Tensio, is going to uh, shoot you as well. Oh, all right. Let's respond to our screen. Oh, come on. 31. Who are you, Bowman? <laughs> come on. 31. I'm very fluid. Apparently. Watch this, kids. Yeah. Uh, the Hydra guy's all wet. <laughs> I warned you last session, buddy. I, I started warned it. you. I'm sorry. I started I've, got, it. I've got the Hulk stats waiting. Mm. Uh, all right. So yeah, they cloned the Hulk. Now we're screwed. Okay, so that's the end of the... Oh, there's all the Hydra guys over here who are like really surprised that you guys, these guys have shown up. So they're going to gang up as a unit. 
and they're these three are going to wait for the Hydra armor's turn to go, and then they're going to move as a unit together. And then I'm going to use my held action to move into the room. Go ahead. Next up on the initiative is Claus, who pops his claws and goes, I'm going to kill me some fur coat. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. Then he'll continue by taking another action as a move. One, two, three. Oh, I'll leave him there. He's close to you. So he's moving up to, he's not attacking you this round, but he's ready for you. Valkyrie makes a gurgling sound. Hydra's turn. Uh, so the Hydra armors now get to go. So basically they're going to one, two, three, four, five to there and no line of sight. So they'll hold their action. Oh, wait, they have line of sight on poor Mr. Nighthawk. Okay. Ouch. So these three guys are going to give edge to the Hydra armor against Mr. Nighthawk. How's that sound? Does that sound good? I like that. That sounds fun. Mr. Nighthawk has a defense of 24 as the Hydra armor powers up and versus, come on, roll 20. Give me the character sheet, you cheat. Versus 24. Blingo, blango, zingo, zango. Ooh, ooh, hits him. Does Nighthawk have anything he can use as a defense, as a reaction? I need to go look at his character sheet on a PDF because I didn't bother typing it all the way into roll 20 because it's a real pain in the ass typing things into roll 20 as opposed to being able to drag and drop, right? Right. Where is he? He is... Ah, uh, crap. Where did I put him? Oh, I know where I put him. I put him in the homebrew folder. There he is. Now I got him. Do, 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 do. He's got attack stance, banging heads, fast strikes, counter strike technique, effective resi effect resistance, leg sweep, web slinging, armor, web casting, defensive stance. Yeah, he ain't got nothing. He's going to take that damage is what he's going to do. So we'll go over and do the... Did I already roll the range damage on him? No, I did not. So I will roll that right now. Uh, it's one die six. Dear God. It's Why did it roll so many dice if it's one die six? It was wrong to hit. Oh, that's why, right. So it does it's 21 points of damage. He has armor 1, which gives him 10. 10 points of defense, so he only takes 11 points of that. But he's still getting hurt, man. He's taking a beating over here. All right, and if anybody's got any actions, moves, or easy actions left, now is the time. Otherwise, we go to the top uh, of the next round. I'll spend a karma for a backup. For a backup? Yeah, bring in our backup. Um, I believe the word you're looking for is your backup will be here when your backup gets here. So we're going to go to the top of the round, and I would like to uh, announce that uh, it is now time for Paragon and Invictus to roll initiative as you're coming flying up onto the scene to join the fray. So click on your tokens and roll your initiative on your character sheets, lads. We've uh, lost Doug. We have indeed lost Doug. Uh-oh. Well, the Enterprise beamed him up. Okay. Hopefully he'll get back. All right, so Paragon will be here in a minute. Invictus, did it add you? I see you. There you are. So let me just resort by descending. Okay. Uh, and Paragon will be here when Doug gets back. How about them apples? Those uh, those apples work just fine for me. All right, so Wolf Spider is up. He is going to... Um, mm, is he smart enough? Mm, I'm going to have to check. I got to make a roll. I got to make a roll to see if he's smart enough because he doesn't strike me as the smartest guy in the room. Uh -huh. You join Hydra. But he is smart enough. He webs up Valkyrie. And we just got a message, I think, from Doug. Yes, we did. Uh, what does he say? He's, he's backstage back waiting to be added. Oh, there he is. Now he's back. I see him in here in the, the thingy. Welcome back, Doug. Uh, click on your token and roll your initiative. It's 20. There we go. Hang on. I got to redo the... It didn't add you to the list for some reason. That's weird. Hang on. Uh, add turn. Come on. 
<clears throat> Roll Twenty's announced a, a big re thing of their. They're going to rejigger their whole. Uh, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, interface this year. Apparently, they've decided to redo their interface. I can't wait to see what nightmare that's going to provide for a while. Okay, so that's weird. Now I can't. S why? Why? Why won't it let me do anything now? Let me. I will that. be right back. Okay, bye. No, no, I'm just walking my dog out. Come on, Mr. There we go. Now it's going to let me do what I need to do. So reassess by descending. There we go. I've got everybody where they need to be now. So Wolf Spider uh, spends his action webbing up Valkyrie. Okay. Tactical Force goes next. He sees the big giant Tundra, but he sees that uh, Claws is going after you. He also sees Tensio being a pain in the ass still. So he maintains his lock on and he shoots at you, buddy. What's your defense again? 31? 31. 31 versus 31. Submit. Wow, he cannot hit shit, but he gets edge, which will do nothing for him because he can't roll, add nine to that roll. So, uh, or sorry, 10 to that roll. So never mind. He misses, and he's gonna he's gonna move over here using flight, so that way he's not directly in the line of that whole group because he's kind of getting the feeling you like to try and use him as a shield and attack people behind him. <laughs> Invictus, you're up, sir. Cool. Uh, so I'm assuming these are doorways. These are windows. Oh, they're windows. Okay, and mm -hmm. we're in a hallway, obviously, right? No, you're outside the building. You're outside oh, right. the building of looking into the third floor window. You're flying in. Okay, so basically we can shatter through the window and come in then, right? Sure, why not? Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, does the shattering of the window impede my movement? Nope. Okay, so give me a sec, please. I just want to see where I am. You can have no more sex. No more? Okay, well, that sucks. That just sucks. <laughs> so, do I, is it obvious to me who the good guys and the bad guys are? Or well, the, the bad hydra? guys are conveniently all dressed in green with symbols of octopi on their chests. So, I'm going to say, unless we're playing him as a particular himbo, you can figure out who the good guys are and who the bad guys are real quick. Perfect. And this guy, Tactical Force here, looks like a particularly bad guy, right? No, he looks like a cheap Iron Man knockoff, but sure. Okay. So, I'm going to come into here uh-huh and i'm gonna just let loose with my eye beams 25 is his defense give me a sec sir no nah, i told you no more sex <laughs> no more <laughs> why do you not listen why why don't you listen i told you i'd shoot but you didn't believe me why didn't you believe me it's just the kind of guy i am spare of disappointment okay he's got so, armor too by the way yeah he's got armor too really mm -hmm. wow so he takes off 20 points of damage. Uh-huh. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh-huh. So I'm going to attack. So it's 22 on the TN, right? Uh, no, no. Uh, 25. For 25 defense. on the TN? Okay. Yeah, defense is 25. Would you like to spend a point of karma to reroll one of those dicings? Actually, I have an edge on this, so I'll reroll the one. <clears throat> Go ahead. You need a six. You get a five. You're off by one. Do you want to spend a point of karma to reroll one of the other dice? Um, if it's lower, does it? Okay. Well, yes, because I'll reroll the, the higher. Uh... You take the higher, unless it's okay. the you want the marble die, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do the marble die. So you're hoping for higher than um, four higher or one, four or one. There we go. Good luck. Let's see what happens. It's the same. Uh -huh. so you miss. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, it's a miss. So the blast basically swings by him and he's, you know, vorp on the thing and everything looks cool and groovy and we move on. Militant is up. He's back up here and they're having a kung fu fighting. Uh, <laughs> so he has got a defense of 24. Militant is... Stop that. Roll 20. Uh, Militant's going to use his easy action. I believe it's an easy action. Let me double check. Uh, attack stance is an easy action. So he drops into his attack stance and he goes ahead and attacks versus 24. 
Does he have... Uh, well, it's the same either way. He has the same agility and the same might. So it doesn't matter if he has combat finesse or not. He misses, but he misses because they don't have karma. So he misses. Never mind. So he misses, but I believe Nighthawk has Counter-Strike, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He has Counter-Strike technique, which I've got to read up really fast. Give me a second. Counter-Strike. Of course, it's all one word, isn't it? Yeah. Deal half the character's fight physical damage to the attacker. It's a reaction. Deal half the character's physical fight damage. Oh, he doesn't even get to do anything. He just has. It just happens. Yep. He doesn't have to roll. That's nice. So half bashing. So let's see. It's not going to get through there. It's not going to get. Oh, he has to. He's already. Oh, he screwed up. That's right. He made a boo boo. So the damage is 40, so 20 points go through. And because he used his easy action to go to uh, attack stance, he doesn't use his easy action anymore to shield, unless that's a reaction. That's a shield? The shield? It's, mm -hmm. Shield's it's an easy. easy action. That's an easy yeah. action, yeah. So he can't use it to defend himself now. Oops, take 20 points, sucker. That's what you get for being stupid. All right. That's the end of Militant's move, and it's Paragon's turn. Yay! You just saw a, glow a glowing guy fly by you through a window. Doug, do we still have you? Your camera and your mic are not working. If you're there, you can hear us. Stupid headset got bumped, bumped into mute. No. Okay. Yes, I am here. Um, let's see here. Hang on just this a second. This is the window that you just saw Invictus fly through. Right, which I'm going to follow him through. Okay. And then I'm going to... Fly over and take on Hammer. You're going straight him. after Hammer. Yes. How many, how many squares of flight do you have? Uh, 250 feet. So that's divided by five. That's um, 50. 50 squares. squares. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're good. Shut up, all you math nerds. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to just do a straight up. Smack him upside the head. Sucks to your ass, Mar. Uh, okay, so you're going versus his defense, which is... Hold me now, 22. Okay, and this is just a standard uh, uh, might check, right? Uh, if you're trying to punch him, yes, sir. It is might. Okay, so I click on E to be safe. And TN is 22, you said? That's correct. Everyone watching is so quiet. Remember last week they were typing comments and stuff? This week they're like dead quiet. <laughs> they're, they're, and there are four people watching, but they're saying nothing. They're gripped. They're engrossed. Hey, that's a success. Give me some damn arama lamage, please. Okay. And fight damage. What the hell is fight damage on here? Um, oh, there it is. Yeah, just go ahead and throw it on. Hey, he has no armor. Huh. Exciting. All right. How much damage did we see? He takes 45. Nice. 45 <laughs> points of damage. That's a nice roll. Nice. That's a very nice roll. Bam. He's like, ah, that hurt. I'm going to fix you right. Man. He's mad. He's not bright. He's just mad. Silver Lion, you're up. What are you doing? I'm going to jump here. Inner attack stance and land a kick, quick strike, uh, chain strike on claws here. Okay. And by the way, Tundra, you get to do nothing. Do you understand? You just sit there and you watch. That's and I'm going to go take on the powered opponents first as a reaction because I don't have any other reactions. So I'm giving everyone edge on my side. Nice. All right, so uh, his defense for your attack is 25. Okay. All right, let's see. Hey, Tanner Robillard, now I feel compelled to speak. You keep up the good work, <laughs> sir. You're breathtaking. Oh, I did it. I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> Chain strikes. Yes, that's exactly okay. what you do. Give me uh, the attack roll, please. Okay, that's what I was trying to 
do. Fight damage. You don't. It's just a fight. You just you, you make a regular might. Right, 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 right. Unless you have uh, combat finesse, then you can use your agility. And it was twenty-two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Was it? Let me double check. Let me double check. That's what you said, though. It was twenty-two. Um, I was wrong. It's twenty-five. Why did it show me twenty-two a minute ago? This the, is tw weird. twenty-two. Oh, was twenty-two hammer. was hammer. Yeah, it was hammer. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. It's twenty-five. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 still works. I still hit. You still hit. Let me see if he, he can do anything. Hang on. Let me see if he has a reaction or something. Let me see. Let me take his a look. His reaction is how? His reaction is to uh, kick you in the, the ding ding. Tundra's got nards. Uh, does heightened senses do anything for him? No. Nope. 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 Uh, reinforced skeleton does something for him. Yeah. 15 damage is reaction, which is nice. Slashback. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, you have to miss them, though. Never mind. All right. Give me your damage, please. You hit. Forty-three, Jesus Christ! Minus uh, fifteen puts it down to thirty-three, twenty-eight. Getting better at math. All right, <laughs> and that's the end of Silver Lion's fun times. And by the way, yeah. other than some movement, you've done everything you can do in one round, buddy. I know <laughs> that's amazing. Know. He's like, I'm doing this, and I react on that, and then I easy action that. Nah, man, it's pretty good. <laughs> Wait, play. no, I get another reaction. Oh, that's if, right. You got that bullshit going. I mean, that yeah. great tactical choice going on. If, really if I had something to use it with, I don't think I'd right. that. So now we go to Mr. Man, who's going to web sling militant, is what he's going to do over here, Nighthawk. So let me just look up the rules on web sling. Web sling. I think that's movement, isn't it? This, that's all it does is move them. Uh, character gains a swing line movement equal to things. So that's not going to work. Never mind. He's not going to web sling. I thought you had web cast, though. That's what I thought, too, but it's actually web slinging. So, oh, he does have web casting. There it is. Derp. I, I knew I wasn't stupid. I'm just partially dumb. That's all. Character makes a ranged attack against enemy. If the attack hits, the web, the par the web, the web paralyzes the enemy. So he's got to make a ranged attack versus militant. Militant's uh, defense is 20. Two is that right? Twenty-two. Yes, it's twenty-two because he's a polymath, and everything sucks when you're a polymath. And he's doing ranged versus twenty-two. Submitterino. <clears throat> oh, he gets a success. Mister Man is webbed. Do I have a a web? Yes, I do. Blunk. He's webbed. <laughs> oh no! A uh, character is paralyzed. Yeah, for how long? Until he breaks free or somebody breaks him free. Yeah, but it doesn't say how to break free. It's a mic what? check, I believe. Versus yeah, what? Check. Versus Challenge. what? Yeah, it's challenging. challenging. Yeah, that's all we got. Stuff that would be good to put in the rules. Just saying. Just saying. All right, so that's Nighthawk. And actually, he's going to move here to here to here because he wants to take down Bowman next because Bowman put a freaking arrow in him. Bowman sees him coming. Is like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Fires off another arrow because he's like, nope, nope, no, 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 no. Uh, Bowman, does he have anything like a point blank or anything? I'd just check his character sheet. Hang on a second, please. Where's Bowman? Oh, where's Bowman's character sheet? There it is. I was like, did I lose Bowman? That would be bad. Bowman has point blank parry. Nope, that's not what he wants. Sniping, regular attack, snap shooting. Two ranged attacks versus one enemy, or one ranged attack versus two enemies. Uh, suppressive fire, return fire, camouflage, tough, sturdy, heightened senses. So he's just going to go for the snap shooting and make two ranged attacks for half damage each against Mr. Nighthawk. That's what he's going to do. Uh, Mr. Nighthawk's defense, on the other hand, is what's going to be needed. Mr. Nighthawk has a defense of 24, so Bowman's making two attacks versus 24. Uh, that's I gotta get a wireless headset. God. Uh, he hits with the first one. Oh yeah, he really does. And twenty four on the second one. He hits twice on Nighthawk, doing half damage on both of them. 
So that's 51 halved. So 25 and 50. So another 25. So he takes, he has 10 points of armor. So 25, so he takes 15. Oops, that was the wrong thing. Well, it's 15 and minus 15. And that leaves him with eight health. But he's in it to win it. He's still there. And Nighthawk hasn't given up yet. Just as a question, because I don't know how you math that. Is the damage reduced since those are two separate attacks? Yes, they're two separate attacks. So the armor counts twice, too. Yeah, yeah. that's why he took 25 and 25. He okay. He took 10 right. off of each of them, so he had 15 That's 15. what I wanted to make sure was going on. Okay. Yep. I'm already ahead of you on that good, one. Good Tencio, you're up. Well, thank you, sir. Tencio, well, since militants up. wrapped up in a pretty uh, little package there, I'm going to attack him. Ever the opportunist, you have edge. <laughs> and his ability right now is kin. Is what what the what now? His abil agility defense is ten. Is that what it said? That's what it paralyzed does to him. Really? I want to see that. Hang on. I know you probably looked it up already, but I'm going to see anyway, just for fun. Yeah, I can't spell paralyzed apparently. Yep, it's reduced to ten, and enemies have an edge on physical attacks against them. So I have two edges. Yep. Wow. Go for it. Versus 10. <laughs> Everyone should just dogpile on him. <laughs> <laughs> we hate you. We love don't, Captain America. I, don't forget, <laughs> you are not Captain America. <laughs> don't forget I also gave edge to y'all. So. Yeah, that's what I said. That's why I have two. Right. One right, from so. you and one because he's pinned. So, so that hit. That hit. And damage. Be uh, punching him from way over here. And he can't get his shield in the way, so he's going to take that full 49. He's not out, but he's certainly hurting. Anything else there, Tensio? Um, I wait. I, I believe your new name is Cheap Shotio, but that's okay. <laughs> Cheap Shot. Well, he's a scientist, he's an opportunist. He's no. Uh, He's no hero yet. It is the way of his people. Yes. <laughs> um, no, I can't see where the character would think moving differently would be helpful. All right. Hammer is up, Paragon. What's your defense, please? Mm, let me see. It is 25. Thank you very much. As he's like, no one touches Hammer. And misses. <laughs> Contact HR. Aww. Aww. All right. So that's the end of Hammer's turn, other than moving, but he ain't going nowhere. Uh, Tundra, finally. Hey, look whose turn it is again. The guy with the ar armor. You know, there's a guy inside that armor, right? So just, just to remind you, if you keep the armor in, <laughs> he is very yeah. well protected. You, he, you no, Tydra, he, he's not that well protected. No, he's probably okay, so. already seen his lunch. Fortunately, he's unconscious, so he's all limp. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that uh, solves okay. everything. Since uh, well, he's not as the likely nail is in front of me, I'm going to hit that with my hammer. When the, the what the what with the what 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 oh. the claw? I'm going to. You're hitting claws. You're hitting claws with your hammer. Yep. Okay, he's got a defense of twenty five. All right, I get a plus two, and you get an edge from the oh yeah, that's master. right. Yep. Oh boy. So you said a twenty-five? Yes, sir. He has a twenty-five defense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that hits. <laughs> well, well, minus 15 for his, his uh, reinforced skeleton, so that's uh, 25. He takes 25 more points of damage as you hit him with an armored Hydragoon. I want you all to hear those words clearly. Hit him with an armored Hydragoon. Yes. <laughs> what a hero. If he didn't want to be used as a club, he shouldn't have put on the armor. 
Uh, Hydra agent is uh, getting edge against you because you were too busy focusing over on other people, so he's going to shoot you, Tensio, with edge. What's no, your right. defense? Oh, yeah, the 31. Yeah, well, this will be funny. <laughs> Let's go versus 31. Uh, hoping for that. Hey, go get a fantastic. Oh, yeah, no, nah, not with that nonsense. Um, you know what? That's fine. Uh, this guy is basically coming over here. And this guy is giving him edge, and he's shooting you, Invictus. What's your uh, defense, Invictus? 25. Of course it is. He's got edge. And he can't... Uh, no. So, brrr, bullets pass by, missing you. Up here, these Hydragoons are still going to give the Hydra armor uh, edge which is basically going to turn and shoot at you, Paragon. What's your defense again, Paragon? 25. It's like I heard that somewhere before. <laughs> All over the place. It's polymaths, man. Hey, yep. he's going to spend his edge to reroll that two slash R1D6. Hey, he hits you with a 25. So he'll do his range damage versus 25, which isn't going to be much because he only gets a D6. 20 points of damage, sir. I have armor two, so I absorb it. I totally soak it. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Oh, wait. No, that only counts if you miss. Damn it. Claws is up. I can't can't wisecrack. Uh Uh-huh. Claws is going to attack you, Tundra. What's your stupid thingy? It's uh, my stupid thing is a 20, but I'm, I'm using the Hydra Agent. Odd, odd question. Is there a link for people to just come listen? Uh, no, it's YouTube, dude. Oh, okay. They, they watch it live on YouTube. I'll watch it uh, live on YouTube. Okay. Sorry, how, you're using the Hydra guy. How is that helping you with your defense? It looks cool. Okay, that's what I want to know. Thank you. <laughs> so versus 20, he slice and dice, and he hits you. Uh oh my god, I forgot he's got berserk and you guys have been hitting him. I gotta check his berserk here. He's gotta make an ego versus the damage, and he just took 25 points of damage. So we'll do ego versus 25 to see if he goes into a berserk. All right. So Tasmanian devil time. He hits you for 41 points of damage. Shit. Do you have any armor there, Tundra? Oh, yeah. I've got um, 27. You have 27 points of armor? Yeah. How do you have such a strange number of armor? Two because I'm big. So that's two, yeah. And then you get how much armor? And then 15 because of reinforced uh, Oh, skeleton and then, and then 20 points for armor two i got you no 10 points for armor. 10 points for armor one so 27 okay well you still take uh some damage please take it uh, how, what was the total again okay 40. 41 so you're taking off 27 of that and then taking the um 14 14 there we go thank you idiom <laughs> sorry uh valkyrie Gurgles. Uh, Hydra armor uh, is already went with the Hydra team. And we're back to the top of the round. And that means it's Wolf Spider's go. So Wolf Spider does not like Hammer one little bit. So he's like, you're on your own, toughy. And he goes, <laughs> swing lines his ass over here and uses his action to remove the webbing. Oop, not add the webbing. God damn it. Can you please just remove the... Thank you. Remove the webbing from Militant, putting him back in the fight. That's Wolf Spider's action. Tactical Force is up. He's getting a little annoyed with you, so he's going to lock on Invictus. And what's your defense again? 25? 25. He's going to blast you, but he's going to do the big blast, the one where he spends 10 focus and then can pump up the damage. So versus 25. Submit. He hits... So he's going to do his range damage, and he's going to spend focus on this in a second. Let's see how much range damage he does. He does 43 points of range damage, and he'll spend 10 extra to do 53 points of range damage. So you and take what, three points of range damage. And what exactly is it? It's energy? 
energy, yes. I can use my energy absorption of on it. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll suck those 53 points into my focus. I love how there are no limits on this. Like, is this an OP fucking power or what? Yes, I, it is. No <laughs> limits. No limits. Uh, all right, so he's pissed, but that's life. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. And he was going to take a move action to move over here for some cover from you. Invictus, you're up. It's your turn. Look at that. You can hide. Uh, you can run, but you can't hide. And you I can move. hide, but you can't run. Oh, crap. <laughs> Okay. Is he on? Is he on the ground or is he fighting? Uh, flying? He's flying about uh, right now, about two feet off the ground. Cool. So I'm going to fly to him, land, mm -hmm. go into attack stance, and clobber him straight into the chest. Oh, that's right, because you have super strength as a power set. Mm -hmm. All right. So his defense is twenty-five. Look at that! All the polymaths with their twenty-five. Cool. Give me a sec. I'm just going to set myself up here. Boom. And, and you said it was 25, eh? That is correct, sir. Ah, oh, jeez. You missed, son, but you got the edge from uh, yep. Silver Blind. Oh, and I also have edge on Clobber, too. So I'm going to roll that one. What I'm going to take the one. Do you have, is edge built into Clobber automatically? Nope. It's, a, uh, it's one of the uh, traits. Ah, okay, thank you. Okay. Notice so. notice I just believe him. Like I just believe him. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna use Man. the second I'm gonna use the second edge to re-roll it. Okay, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> that roller you, know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna accept this, shut up, and move on. <laughs> you really you don't want to spend one point of karma just for fun to see what happens? Uh, <laughs> if you get another if you get another one, I promise you you'll get something for it. If you get okay, one. karma it is. Let's go for it. I promise. <laughs> I got a five. You hit him. There you go. See? He hit him. Give me a damage, please. Give me a second, sir. And he has like armor three, doesn't he? Yeah. Or is it armor two? Don't uh, forget I went into my stance. Of course. Armor two. And how do I do the damage? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, do I have to put armor two in target's defense? or No. no? That's just trying to roll an attack roll. 58 points of damage, minus 20 for his armor, leaves uh, 38 through. Plus 10 for his attack stance. It's no, no, damage. no. I, 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 I added the 10 already. Ah, thank you. Okay, so bam. You pull, 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 pull him. Doesn't and, he... Uh, uh, the, the, doesn't he get pushed back for that? Fantastic success. Sorry, I apologize. You're right. Militant, who's up and mad, uh, but let's see. Quick ego check for militant. Uh, just a quick not ego check, sorry, logic check for militant. Versus that, we'll see what happens here in a second. Yeah, like he's cheap chat. No, he realizes you're the bigger threat right now, and that there are two on Nighthawk. So he's going to move to here and bow with the shield. What's your defense, please? 31. Th oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whiff. Just, I can just tell you it's going to be a whiff. <laughs> and he'll take his reaction to drop into a defensive stance because he's pretty sure you're going to counterattack him. And if I had wise crack, I'd say something right now. But Paragon, you're up. Okay. Uh, second verse, same as the first. We're going to smack him. Smack him down. Let's see here. Uh, his defense is, I believe, 22. Let me double check. It is, in fact, 22. <coughs> All right. Excuse me. Ooh. Joy hit, son. Give me I'm some damage. Trying. All right. That's uh, 36 points of damage. Yep. He uh, takes the 36 points of damage. <laughs> and Silver Lion, you're up. Okay, I'm right, everybody, to... everybody, hang on. Everybody, pay attention as Tim teaches you how to use all your shit at one time. Go ahead, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> <Attack and stance. laughs> yep, that's uh, your reaction. Give everyone a battle plan. Great, tax sense is an easy action. What's your battle yep. plan? Uh, my battle plan is focus on the powered targets. 
try and team up if you can. If you there can't, you know. Uh, and then third, I'm going to chain strike claws. There we go. His defense remains. Oh, it might have changed because of berserk. Hang on, I gotta check that because I think it changes berserk. I think that changes his um, defense. Let's see what he gets. Berserk gives a character edge on all fight attacks and adds plus two to their might resilience and ego defenses. However, they take minus two from their agility defense and cannot use ranged weapons. So his 25 becomes a 23. Okay. 23. <clears throat> uh, you hit and you do 36 points of damage, minus 15 for his. Oh, reinforce. plus 10 for attack stance. They do plus 10 damage? From attack, attack stance. Yes, yeah. that's wow. my polymath so, levels too. So 46 minus 15 is 36 is 31. He takes 31 points of damage. Not out, but hurting. Got it. Now you are the focus of his hate in his berserk rage. Well done. I figured. Nighthawk's up next, and he is in a um, how you say shit sandwich. <laughs> he's he's not doing well where he is right now. He's no good place for him. So he's going to um, basically swing line his ass bzzz, and land there because he's not going to be stuck in that poop sandwich. And then he's going to leg sweep this Hydra agent just for fun, just because he's here. Air versus 16. Blagow. That's going to hit. And it's a fantastic success. So he knocks him back into this one, taking out two Hydra agents at one time because he's the cheap dollar store Batman. Yeah. Hey, hey, dollar store Superman. You hear about that? Dollar store Batman's here. <laughs> I, I, I realized that last time, actually. There <laughs> we are. All right. Bowman is up and he's literally having no fun with all of this. So he's going to move to here. And he's going to use Wolf Spider as cover, and he's going to shoot you, Tensio, with your 31. He actually might hit you. <laughs> it's a really hot roll. Hey, he does not get a really hot roll. Oh, well. That's enough of that. And you got a warm roll. You got a lukewarm roll. Tensio, it's your turn. All righty. With your um, 50 square reach, this should be good. <laughs> um, I'm really not liking um, Mr. Bowman over there. Mr. Bowman, um, sir. Mr. Bowman. <laughs> Do you know Mr. Spiderman by any chance and Mr. Birdman? Uh, anyway, all right. <laughs> and he's at 30 feet away, so I will try to punch him. Uh, I believe Bowman. he has a defense of 27. Miss, that's what he wanted. He's going to uh, use. I two. have an edge. Good luck. Yep. Let me know. Right. That's not going to help with 10, so go ahead. So um, he's going to return fire on you. Okay. And let me just, that's a reaction. Let me just see what it does in the rules because I wrote it down in shorthand. Uh, return fire. Bingo, bango, zingo, zango. Character makes an agility range versus ego attack against the enemy. If the attack is success, the enemy takes half range focus piercing damage. If it's a fantastic success, enemy takes full range piercing damage. Apply damage reduction normally. The enemy suffers any actual focus damage. They are stunned. Wait, what? Oh, so it's focus she damage. Me. Yeah. yeah, he does focus damage to you. Okay, so first he has to make a ranged attack versus your ego. What's your ego defense, please? Ah. Is it not 31, Tensio? What is it? Ego defense, you said? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Watch, it's like 52! Ego <laughs> defense is 17. Ah, that, there we go. Now we're cooking with heat. And he hits you! So you take half, what was it? It was half ranged. Sorry, I gotta look Piercing, it up again. Right? Takes half range piercing damage. Okay, so he does his range damage. Submit. He shot so you in the ego. 54 is 25. 26. 54 divided by 2. Round up to the nearest hole. Is 27 points of damage, senor. Okay, so I take 7. Off your ego. If the enemy suffers any actual focus damage, they are stunned. Yes. 
And the triggering attack automatically fails, which we already had. If return fire attack was fantastic success, Sammy also drops bombs. So you're stunned. Yep. So we'll go ahead and put a little stunned is yellow, I believe. No, that was blinded. Let's go with pink because whatever. Stunning. Stun. You're stunned. I'm stunning. Stunned him just as he was getting up. Hammer is uh, pretty much had enough of your shit for one day, Paragon. So he's going to lightning strike you. Um, what is your defense again? 25. Now, hang on. There's some rules that go along with the lightning. Hang on a second. Lightning strike. <laughs> lightning bolt. Character makes a ranged attack in the target line of sight that is exposed to the elements. The roof is open, so yes. If the attack is success, it deals ranged physical energy damage to the target. If it is a fantastic success, it also deals double damage. This power also triggers the thunder power automatically, which I think is stupid as hell, given how powerful thunder is. But he's got to make the ranged attack against you. What's your um, what's your uh, defense again? 25? 25. All right, so we're going against 25. Let's see what happens. Ooh, he misses. But there's a Thunder Strike, which is really stupid. Uh, I'm going to actually house rule this on the spot and say no to the Thunder Strike. Make that a fantastic success thing. Otherwise, it's really ridiculous that everybody in 50 feet is suddenly deaf at the same time, which is just silly. Uh, that's what I'm going to use, gonna use Wisecracker. You're going to use Wisecracker <laughs> to do what? Because he missed me. <laughs> uh huh. And what are you going to say? Uh, I'm going to say, "Wow, you really are a second class Thor, aren't you?" <laughs> Ouch. Just call Sweet. him Thorina. Thorina. <laughs> wow, you're lucky. Oh, he's oh, that. That's a nice hammer. Did your boyfriend make it for you? That one oh. had to be shared. Oh, no, no, no. Damage anyway. oh for you. <laughs> Listen. This is a this is a safe space <laughs> with villains hitting you. But no, see, that's they would go. Yes, yes, he did. I rather like it. But <laughs> what's the stupid damage? Oh, uh, let me find it again. Sheesh. Stupid damage, you? please. <sighs> Shit! It doesn't say. It Hang on. Does, hey, it's it's uh, wise cracker. What is it? Wise yeah, cracker. Here we go. Uh, the, 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 the character makes sure the enemy takes psychic damage equal to their uh, to their focus equal to the character's ego defense. What's your ego defense? My <clears throat> ego defense is twenty. So he takes twenty points of ego damage. Oop. So he's like, Arr! oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, it does say it right there. Duh, does 20 points of, I don't know why I didn't see it. But anyway, yeah, so. Okay, and that's the end of Hammer's <laughs> turn, and now it's Tundra's turn. Okay, I'm going to set my armor hammer down real nicely, because I might need that again later. And uh, I'm going to smash the uh, claw. Claws, plural. Claw. But, yeah. So he currently has a defense of 23. All right. Yeah, that hits. Minus 15 for his um, thingy. That's a... Okay, so that's double damage already. Is that a, does it say is that a fantastic success? I guess that is a fantastic it, success because the Marvel die came up a Marvel. Yeah, this is why I prefer you roll the roll separately before the damage so that way we can see all the result because it gives us the fantastic or whatever we normally get. But yeah. I think if it comes up with the Marvel die, I believe that's considered a fantastic success. So does that do double damage? Yes, so 49 and, doubled, and I'm going to spend uh 10 focus on extra damage. Wait, does don't you do you have to spend a minimum of that automatically though when you're doing your double when you're doing something that costs focus? What what ability are you using? Smash. Smash doesn't cost focus to do extra focus, extra damage. Yeah, it does. I have to spend uh, ten uh, for every point of focus. It's extra damage. Okay, so he takes eighty three in total oh, after oh, everything oh. is done, uh, which puts him um, uh, out. OUT out. He is out. 
Claw is down. I repeat, Claw is down. Hydra agents. Are there any of them left? Oh yeah, these guys. They're going to give all their fun to the Hydra agent, uh, the Hydra armor. Uh, Claws is down. Valkyrie's down. Hydra armor. He's going to back up his good buddy over here and shoot you again. 25 is your defense, I remember. I remember he has three edges on this. Let's see if he can even remotely come close. So he got a 23, so he'll reroll the three slash R1D6. If he gets a five or higher on it, he hits you. No, he does not, so he'll spend the to do it again. That's two edge down. That succeeds. He hits you for damage, Par uh, Paragon. So your damage is not going to be a whole hell of a lot. And I'm sure your armor is going to suck it up. 23 points of damage. What's he, what's he hitting me with? Uh, energy. Uh, I absorb it. No, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 23 points added to my focus. Uh, <laughs> so both I'm, Superman absorb energy damage? Okay. Shush, dollar nice. store Superman. He's, from, he's got weird packaging. Leave him alone. And I'm more of a cosmic manipulator, anyways. Uh -huh. Wolf Spider is basically like, hmm, yeah. And he goes over here and he's doing something with the computer. That's not Ta good. Tactical Force is up looking at you, Invictus. And I got to look at his character sheet to see if he's got a hope in hell of doing anything against you. Uh, I'm sure he does. Yeah, not likely. Come on, Tia, if you can do it. Yeah, he's going to use Energy Wave against you. And hope hope against all hope that he gets a, 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 a stupid success. Uh, range attack versus thing, because you're just going to absorb the damage. You know? Yeah, exactly. But he, if he gets a fantastic success, you're blinded. Oh, smart. Nice. Yeah. So, for, and he's got lock on, which gives him edge, and that's versus 25. He gets a 21. He'll spend his edge slash R1D6 to re roll the two that is the marble die, hoping for the one for the fantastic success. No, but he hits you. <laughs> um, I'll absorb it. <laughs> yes, he's going to give you half. He's going to give you half energy damage. Hang on just a second. I'll tell you how much you get. I'm starting to feel bad. You get 43 half, 21, 21, 21 points of, uh, 20, 22, 22 points. Yeah, I'll damage. take it. It goes to your focus, right? Yeah. Yeah. I notice you're not updating your focus. It still says 80, 80. You want to update that, please? Sure. Because you've been absorbing, so you can add to your focus so we know what it's yeah, at. Give me a sec. I'll do it right now. Okay. Because it's your turn. 159, 157. Hang on a second. There we go. I feel better after hearing that number. Okay, go ahead. What are you doing? Sure. Okay, so um, oh, the poor guy. I feel so bad for him. I, I kind of look at him. Like, you know, it's Hang okay on. to run, right? And then I punch him again. <laughs> I feel bad for you, but I'm still going to hit you. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's okay much. to run, you know. I don't want to hit you. Uh, that's why you hit I yourself. gave him a millisecond to respond. Why are you Come hitting on. yourself? Why? 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 Hmm? Why? So what's his defense? Um, uh, negligible? Um, uh, poor? Feeble? Uh, 25. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Good yeah, one. that that's did him a shit ton of nothing. <laughs> give, me some, give me some damage, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're going to have to give me a second here because uh, I'm still in attack stance, so I'm going to add it straight to the damage right away. Please and thank you. So that's 37 points minus uh, 27, 57 minus is 20 points of armor is 37. Oh, look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break that thing. He's like, sparks are coming off of him now. His helmet's kind of like crooked. He's like, oh, son of a bitch. That hurt. Just, just, just let me hit you one more time. We'll put, I'll put you out of your misery and, and, and you can sleep for the rest of the combat. Uh, yeah. Militant has got you blinded right now, aren't you there, buddy? Ooh, I'm not oh. blinded. I'm stunned. Stunned. Sorry, uh, I'm stunned. stunned. Stunned him just as he was waking up. Stunned condition summary. Stunned. Enemies have an edge on all attacks. 
That's all? That's lame. All right, well, your defensive well, 31 is ridiculously high, regardless of him having edge, but let's see what happens. You never know. You could get lucky. You could, you could get lucky. Yeah, there's no way he can... Uh, you know what? He'll spend the edge to re-roll that, 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 that marble die just for shits and giggles. Yeah, whatever. He misses. Oops, that's the wrong thing. He needs one of my three ones I rolled before. Yes, yes, he, he does. He does indeed need one of your three ones that you rolled before. Uh, but he doesn't like being this close to you, so parkour! And he's going to hop over here. As Guys, man, I'm more... Protect you from me. Paragon! You Guys, up? I, I can't see Wolf Spider, but he's scaring, the sh he's scaring me, man. Actually, well... Paragon. Thrice and done. Let's see here. Paragon. 22, right? Uh, for Hammer, yes, 22. Yeah. What are you doing? Smacking him again. Of course you are. So <laughs> I want to take him down. Give me some that damage. That is a hit. <laughs> so, damage. 34 points of damage. Which puts him exactly at zero. Oh! <clears throat> Bingo, maybe. bango, zingo, zango. Silver line, you're up. Maybe uh, maybe next time he get some armor to go with that. Uh, <laughs> the gentlemen, gentlemen I'm coffee. going into the breach. I may need some assistance, so I'm going to give them all edge. I am moving nice. here, dropping into attack stance and attacking wolf spider with chain attacks. Oh, so, well done, silver um, line. Hang on just a second. Slow your roll. Yeah. Because I think he had camouflage. And if okay. he didn't have camouflage, you didn't see him there, and that's my bad. Let me double check. I have heightened senses. Yes, but if camouflage may... I just shut up and let me look. Okay. <laughs> no, he does not have camouflage. Never mind. You can definitely see him. But he does have spider sense. Yeah, which gives me a uh, dis uh, trouble. It gives me trouble. Yeah, edge on initiative and vigilance perception checks. I mean, I have a trouble on agility stealth checks against the character's vigilance defense. Character also gains a permanent plus two bonus to their agility defense, which is why his is 27. Okay. Yeah, I probably won't hit him, but I'm going to try. Okay. Well, versus well, you, you want to be using the might defense, though, because you're just wailing on him? Yep. So the agility right. defense isn't going to affect it. You always attacked agility. That's the thing. Is it? You, oh. Yeah. I thought we should use the mental powers, yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. So that uh, would be a failure. Who yep. use a karma? Yeah, I oh, use you... a karma. Don't? Yeah, I'm, but I, I can't, I can't. Oh, he's, so he's going to use his spider dodge. The enemy has trouble on their attack. So go ahead and use, so which one do you want to reroll? I was going to reroll some three because. Okay, so slash R space 1d6 to reroll. Yeah. Because rerolling one not going to help me much against him. Still, does it? No. So he's not even going to bother with the spider dodge because you missed. Yep. All righty. Nighthawk is up and he's over. Whoop, oh my God. Everything's flying all over the place on my roll 20 over here. He's over here. You guys have taken down Claw. Things are happening over there. He's going after Militant Swing Line to here. And then he's going to Attack Stance. And then he's going to Fast Strike. And Fast Strike does what exactly again? Character splits are attacked to make two fight attacks against a single foe. If the attack is a success, the enemy takes half health damage. Fantastic takes double damage. Okay. He will he has an easy action left, so he'll use it to put his shield on, but still he gets the attacks in. So let's see what he's got. He's got a defense of 22. So he's going versus 22 twice. Versus 22. And that's a hit. And versus 22. And that's a hit. So he hit him twice. He's going to spend edge on the second one to try and re-roll the marble die and get a one. He does not. So he does two uh, fight damages on him. 
So he does 38, which is going to be ha- which is going to be taking off armor and a second shield, and 34. Both of those take off shield. Yes, yeah, shield two, I believe. Yes, yes, 20. No, yes, yeah, shield three. My apologies. So that's 30. So he takes a grand total of 12 points of damage, which is not enough to put him out, but that still takes him down a peg. All right. Bowman is going to hold his action. Oh, is he? Hang on, wait, let me check something. Let me check something. No, Bowman is not going to hold his action. Uh, he's going... To... Actually, no, he is going to hold his action. He's waiting. Nah, screw that. He's shooting you, Silver Lion. What's your defense? <laughs> um, that's fine. Um, it is... Let me take a look. It is 23. 23? Yep. And he hits you thunk, with an arrow for range damage. Submit All right. It. 44 points of damage, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I am going to spend focus to heal. Uh, what's that? I can do this all day? Yep. Okay, so you can spend up to your rank in focus, and you get two points for each one. Yep. So <laughs> it's an easy action, isn't it? It might be an easy action. I may have yeah. to wait. It is, yes, it is an easy action. It's not a reaction. Sorry about that, Silver Lion Man. So, no next worries. Time. All right, Lion Hammer Lion. is out. Tundra, you're up. All right. So, I'm going to go this way, and I'm going to smash Militant on my way over. Uh, Militant's defense is 25. All right. Let me. Remember, y'all all have a. Oh, sorry. In Mills' yep. defense is 22. My apologies. 22. 22. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that hits. Uh, remember, he has 30 points of shield. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. You're to, that's, like your, that's like your bonus. I know. Trust me. Go ahead. Then <laughs> what I'll do is I'll spend, uh, I'll use my combat trickery mm -hmm. to make that red die a marvel die and mm -hmm. double my damage. And then I'll go ahead and spend an extra 10 focus on damage. <laughs> okay, give me the damage. Just give me the numbers, please. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Elliot, ouch. So that's 42. That's 84. 94 points of damage. Minus 30 oh. is 64. He is unk. Hydra agents are backing up. Armors, claws is unk. Oh, wait, claws has fast heal. Oh, does he have to be awake for that to work? Hang yeah. on. Hang on. You don't know. You stop. Yeah, I have one. Yeah, at the end of the character's turn, they regain his rank. This works outside of combat, too. Doesn't say anything about having to be awake. Oh, yeah, okay. He'd he bounce back for sure. Uh, but he still only heals his rank, so he gets 10. On top of negative 37. He's now at negative 27. Well, that's oh, well, I'll go over there and beat on him some more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cheap. <laughs> All right, Valkyrie Gurgles. Hydra armor is basically going to try shooting you again, Paragon. Why? I have no idea. Uh, because he likes giving you focus. I think that's why. What's your defense again? <laughs> 25? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just going to miss. He's not going to give you anything. He's just going to miss. Yeah, that's not worth his time. Back to the top. Wolf Spider yanks a USB key out of the computer he was messing around with. And he's going to do his move action, which is to go and swing line straight up, leaving the scene of the battle. So if you want to catch him, you're going to have to chase him outside. Boop. As he zaps up into the air. Out of the building. Tactical Force is next, and he's like, oh, it's time to go if you're still awake. Uh, and he's going to fly uh, towards the hole. So, there's nothing and, like being able to stop him, interposing or something like that. No way. No. Interposing doesn't mean <clears> stop <throat> between, between two people. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, if you have a power that's a reaction, you can do something. If you have a reaction, that'll let you. Otherwise, no. The only reaction I have is uh, Crushing Grip or Movable, and neither one of them would... He has to attack me for Crushing Grip. Still your crushing. action. Still your action, though. What are you doing? Uh, um, crushing yeah. Grip. 
I'm going to move. I think it's more important to stop Wolf Spider. He got a USB full of data. Why? Well, get the guy with the key. Yeah, you're right, eh? So I'm going to fly up and see if I can find Wolf Spider. All right. So be careful. He's agile. So you're leaving the map. So, um, <laughs> like, super agile, too. You're yeah. leaving the map. So, so where we'll, do you want me to put myself? I'll deal with you in a minute. Oh, okay. All right. So that's it for Invictus's turn. Militant is. Oh, he hurt. Uh, Paragon, you're up. What are you doing? Uh, how far away is uh, Wolf Spider? He's gone. He's out the hole in the ceiling. Out of line of sight. Way out of line of sight. And I okay. flew after him. And you don't see him. Okay. Yet. Then I was uh, I was gonna I was gonna blast him if he was still within hundred feet. But uh, okay, instead I'm going to um, energy wave the hydra armor. This guy, uh, Mr. Hydra Armor's defense is twenty three. It's good armor. Uh, ranged Rank attack, eight. so that's agility, right? Yes, sir. Uh, twenty three, you said. Yes, sir. Would you like to use your edge to reroll one of those dice? I would actually. Uh, I'm going to reroll mm -hmm. the marble die. I would suggest it. So slash R space 1d6. Mm, you still miss. You still missed. Uh, and it's a spend a karma to reroll one. Is that right? Yes, well, sir. But you should have two edges because uh, the energy wave has an edge built into it. And Does we it? had the edge from the line. I'm pretty sure. Eh, I like, let's look. I don't have it, but I'm pretty sure from memory from reading yeah, it. Yeah, you get edge. Yeah. You get edge. So you can reroll that one again. Try again. Oh, I like that edge. Okay, yeah. So um yeah, we'll go ahead and reroll that one again. Nice. So slash R six. Oh, much well, better. You don't get the fantastic success, but you still get the hit. So give me your damage, please. Okay. It's <clears throat> halved, right? I believe for your energy defense, it's half energy. Uh, uh, Fix range physical energy damage. Nope, that's it. That's straight up damage. Beautiful. Go give me the damage. Okay. Just range, just ranged attack damage. Thirty-one. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, <laughs> that's me. <weird. laughs> Squish. Yeah. He's got great armor, but not that much. Uh, all right. So, um, yeah, he took 11 points through. He has seven health left. I mean, oh, he's, he's out. <laughs> 11 took the seven. All right. Yeah. So that's the end of him. Silver Lion, you're up. I'm going to move to here, and I'm going to try something that is not built into the rules, if you'll allow me. I'm going to break the damn Bowman's bow. Uh, attacking an object. Yeah. yeah. Attacking an object. Attacking an object, yeah. All right, let's relax. All of you yelled your thing out. You feel better now? <laughs> well, we all, okay. yelled, we all yelled the same thing, so no. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to call this a bow. Your face is a bow. <laughs> uh, given that it's long and thin. But I am an attack stance, and I'm giving everybody edge. I don't give a shit what you're doing. I'm trying to calculate what your target is. Thank you. Okay. All right. Good <laughs> God. Uh, target number attacking an unmoving object have a target number of ten. Yada 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 yada. The target number is of the attack is used. Okay, if the object is a weapon, helmet, or accessory or tool being used by the character, the TN of the attack is its user's physical defense modified by the object size, and the attack has trouble. So this is going to be it's less than five pounds roughly, and it's long and thin. So we're going to give it a bonus of eight to the defense modifier. So you are attacking versus 2735. Okay, I don't think I can manage that, but I'm... And you have that. trouble. <laughs> and I have trouble. Uh, I don't think I can hit it, but I'm going to try. Roll that 616. No. But I am going to try and re-roll that, that middle one die by spending a karma. Okay. Just in case. He can still let me re-roll it, but... So just yet? No. 
Okay. Nope. So okay. basically, you try and hit him. You try and hit his bow. He dances out of your way and misses. You miss him. Nighthawk is going to uh, swing line up out of the building. Bowman just laughs at you and pops off an arrow into the air doing a flare attack on the entire room. So let's go look up flare. La 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 Character makes agility check compares that against the vigilance defense of every enemy within 25 feet. If the enemy is beaten, they are blinded or dazzled until the end of the attacker's next turn. If the attack is a fantastic success and inflicts ranged physical energy damage, two. So everyone within 25 feet of him. So let's come out here. So basically, Tundra, you're in range. <coughs> Uh, you're not Tensio. Militant is, unfortunately. But still, hey, it's something. Tactical focus. Why Tactical is it... force. Max I Militant's down. Okay, close enough. Jesus. <laughs> eat, a bag, eat a bag of everything. All right, so basically check your Vigilance Defense versus 28, guys. 28 versus your Vigilance Defense. Tundra, Silver Lion... Tactical force is good, and that's it. Those are the only people in the range. And what does it do? Blinded? I'm blinded. blinded. Okay, so you're blinded. So you are blinded by the light. Blinded. Are you blinded, Tundra? Tundra, are you blinded? Dale? Tundra. Dale. I, I think Dale's his camera blind. locked up. Now there, Dale's he's, he's, he's yeah, he's getting all wonky. Okay, are you blinded? You're blinded. Okay, so you guys are blinded. Uh, guess what? You're no longer stunned, Tensio. That's good news. Yay! Uh, it's your turn. What are you doing? I am going to the roof with my stilt steps and seeing what I can see. Okay, so you've gone up to the roof as well. Hammer is out. Tundra is blind. Hydra agents are whatever. Claws heals another ten points. And Valkyrie is down. What blind do? Uh, you can't do shit. Look it up. It's, it's pretty much you can't do shit. Unless you had somebody grabbed and you could just squeeze him like he loved to do. Like Charmin. Blinded summary is coming up right now. Conditions and powers that require main of staying in a line of sight are amended immediately. Character speed is reduced by half for all modes of travel except teleportation. They have trouble on all action checks that require a line of sight. Enemies have edge on all action checks against them. They would reasonably require a line of sight to defend against or dodge. But you guys get up to the roof. You can't see Wolf Spider anywhere. Like the motherfucker is gone. But you do see Shield arriving as basically shield agents come crashing through the windows and take control of the scene. And you have all of Hydra Force, except one, as prisoners. Well done. And we're going to call the session there, because it's getting late, and we have to do our uh, post-dissection. And honestly, we don't have a map for you guys to chase Wolf Spider across the city, so everyone gets a karma, which you can't use, so you have a karma for next time we play for uh, Wolf Spider's Escape. Nice. So, let's stop sharing my screen and let me hang on, do this and do that. And all right, so let's talk, boys. So, for some of you, this was your first time playing tonight. For some of you, this is the second or third time you've played this. Um, let's go. Feedback, thoughts, feelings. Let's go. That's what we're doing this for. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's still fun. Okay, so what do you like about it? What don't you like about it? I like the fact that it really speaks to my min max side, that the min max side of me. <laughs> it's seriously, it really like if you want, it's an easy system to um, abuse. To abuse, really mm -hmm. easy system to yeah. abuse, and it's kind of fun. Um, you have to sacrifice one or two things, but if you play the traits properly and you start getting powers that aren't e even in your power set, okay, uh, it's incredible what you can do with the uh, with the characters. Okay, I mean, I was doing more than fifty-five damage almost every hit, right? It's true. It's you know, I'm telling you, and that's I, and I like that about it. But at the same time, I, I would like to see you know, I would I, I would have liked to have seen it challenge me a little more. As far as that goes, yeah, okay. I love the power sets. I mm -hmm. really love playing with the power sets. I just, you know, um, like I said last time we we played with with a little creativity, it can be a really good system. But they need to fix so much before it's an actual 
actual sellable product. Okay, so that's fine. Anybody else have anything else they want to say? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's okay. I'm not going to mm. rave about it for many of the same oh. issues. Mm -hmm. But hitting a bow in someone's hand, yes, he should be able to dodge and move it easily. But it's not that hard to hit since he's holding it trying to shoot people. Yeah, but he's so, also a moving target who gets to add his agility to defense to everything. Plus, keep away, man. I Listen, I, I, I'm going to say this as someone who's fought people with pool cues in their hands. <laughs> the hardest goddamn thing to do in a fight is take something, take something away. away. Okay. Which I'm is fine with that rule. Which is, which, is, which is reasonably okay. Um, I, I still have that issue with it can be... There, there's no way... like. In some games, you're testing against yourself. In other games, you're testing against your opponent. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that makes something too impossible. Yes. Both types of games can cause that, where it's too impossible to do something, and there's no way, none of the mechanics, none of the karma, none of the focus, really gives you a chance to have a chance against a certain kind of foe, which speaks to the fact that you'll need teams, which is a good thing. But the teams are going to have to be built a very specific way to cover everybody else's butt. Okay. Um, because it's going to be very rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Doug, this was your first time playing with us tonight as well. What was your thoughts? Um, I I agree with... Uh, uh, I forgot the name. Tim. Tim. Uh, that uh, it does encourage a more like uh, varied team. You know, yeah. like you've got to have your your Batman or your Moon Knight or your whatever. And, and as well as your Superman, as well as your range, you know, all that kind of thing you need. It, it, it's, it seems tailor-made for that sort of thing, um, which isn't a bad thing, but um, what if you got two Supermen on a team? You know, <laughs> so it could get, you know, it's it, either we're going to be bored or everybody else is going to be watching us mop the floor. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And uh, so that could be a problem, but then again, that's a problem in most hero games anyway. Fair so, um, other than that, I I enjoyed it. I've I've haven't had this much fun. I haven't actually played a superhero role playing game hmm. in decades, so this was a lot of fun for me. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, Shane, Mister Thirty One Defense. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Well, it, it's... I love it. Said, I mean, max the shit out of it. <laughs> what people have said, you have to have special characters. That's with d and D. I I mean, my goodness, how many times have you said, well, we have to have a cleric, otherwise we're, we're, we're screwed. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's just part of role-playing. Unless you've got a very tailored campaign that says, you know, we're going to operate in this. Not everything goes, and you've got to account for everything. Even though this wasn't role playing, I still like the, the role play aspect of this. It allows creativity, it allows just thought and saying, okay, rather than I stab him with my sword, okay, I'm going to stab him with my sword again. Okay. It's, it's cinematic. And okay. that's the part I like about it. All right. Cool. Dale. I really like the way the traits interact with the powers. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. um, especially right and i'm trying to use all my traits at some point to see how they work and sure. using that some of the traits made the powers better some of the powers worked really well some of the powers are just too much and the um some of them are too useful and there's not an the the focus is a great stat i guess or a great pool Concept. but there's too little to use it with because my, it, without having a psionics in the game right without having mm -hmm. psionics and magic in the game it's really hard you have this massive thing you've created in focus but nothing targets it for the most part except for wise ass you know i was sorry wise acre wisecracker, you know yeah. wisecracker what a dipshit <laughs> <laughs> and hey, at least no i used it once yeah. <laughs> there's no way for us to really dip into it much yeah i agree okay so and here's kind of like uh, if i may Jen. interject the same thing kind of with my character. Nobody's going to punch him. And even if they do punch him, he's got damage resistance. Yeah. But it, a mentalist could just wipe the walls with him. Yeah, agreed. But there's no mentalist right now. Yeah. So. so that leads us to this question then. So we were going to transition to heroic uh, at some point with this group, but heroic is nowhere near ready for playtesting. So we can keep going with this, which is fine. 
but I'd like to start slowly testing some house ruley ideas. One of the house ruley ideas is to make karma fucking useful. Yes. Which is basically one, it explodes a die. And suppose it's just letting you re-roll the die, it explodes the die. So you can roll the die and then add that total to the result. Might make yeah. karma useful for you guys at that point in time. That's mm -hmm. one I'd like to test. Second, villains don't get karma. Therefore, I want a narrator's karma pool for my NPCs, good and bad. I want to have a pool that I can use. And I want to just steal the basic one, which is two for every PC. Right? So in this case, I'd have, what, 10. I'd have 10 karma for the whole night. Right? Which would allow me to do stuff for the bad guys to give the bad guys a chance. Mm -hmm. Right, which might be fun. Yeah. Also, your allies like Valkyrie, she could have you know done some stuff there, but she doesn't get karma. She's an NPC, uh, or at least I don't think she should get karma as an NPC. So I'd rather have a pool, which is much better at that point in time. So that's something I'd like to test. I don't want to fuck with the ranks. I don't want to fuck with the archetypes. I want to leave them as they are because the math is fine. But I do want to look at testing some of the house rule power sets that are available. If you guys are interested in that as well, because there's like a gadgets pool, which you know might be hit fun. There's there's all these stuff that people are coming up with that are really really good. So I say we keep going with this uh, as is, and we move to the next step of this adventure, which is where the fuck did Wolf Spider go, and what the fuck did Wolf Spider steal? Yeah, yeah. All right. Sounds good. Now, we were. this was an off week for us, which meant we would be playing next Wednesday. We will discuss offline as of whether or not we're doing that or we're going to go to two weeks starting tonight. We'll figure that out offline. So everybody who's watching, there may be a game next week or there might be a game in two weeks. We'll decide and then I'll post about it and we'll know. I do fucking videos every day because I have no life. Uh, so basically, you'll know. So anything else you guys would like to say? No. Nope. It was fun. Then we're going to introduce the, the my favorite concept in all of role playing, which is this. Could everybody please vote for the MVP of the night? And that person will start with a bonus karma next session. Dale, who are you voting for? Silver Lion. All right. Shane, who are you voting for? Silver Lion is still the most uh, useful character on, on the board. All right. Doug, who are you voting for? I concur. Uh, uh, Silver Lion was not only was not only was Tim using all his actions. So, he, so it shows a better understanding of the game, I think. Mm -hmm. But also, he he was doing what he could to help the team. Nice. And that was amazing. Okay. Renzo? Yeah, I agree. Silver Lion, man. Uh, it was really fun to see the tactical power set in, in action. Um, it It's probably, watching it, it's probably one of my favorite power sets, I got to say. It's, it's fun to see the whole buffing aspect of it. Beautiful. And Tim, who would you vote for? Um, <laughs> that's always hard for me because I think everybody did a really good job. I like <laughs> the two Superman, although they seem to have been built alike. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have seen that be a little bit different. Um, I liked uh, Terenzio a great deal. I like Tundra a great deal. So I'm I I think I'm going to go with Tundra this time. <laughs> so you missed you missed a great joke one, which is I like Terenzio, I like the two Superman, I like Tundra, so I'm voting for Penzio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so with Tundra, beautiful. So now here's what we're going to do. Actually, I've decided to change it. You're not going to get an extra karma next round. Hey, Silver Lion, congratulations! Level up your rank eleven now. Okay. Nice. Oh, cool. There we go. All nice. right. So we will let you guys know if we're playing next week or in two weeks. Stay tuned to the channel. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks for coming out tonight. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment below if you're watching this on a replay. Comment below. And until next time, I'm Bear for all these jokers saying peace, love, and geek. And uh, I guess we're going to keep making ours marble. Sounds good yep. to me. Yep. Bye, everyone. Bye. Take care, folks. <laughs>